What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Justin here with DTT. I'm here today with a firearm that feels a little strange for me to hold. As we stated when we first released the Journeyman rifle, that was kind of the first step towards um, seeing a lot of new offerings for full firearms uh, on our website. Um, so if you're paying attention to that at all, you're gonna start seeing a lot more options as far as um, calibers that we carry and full builds, just builds put together for different specific purposes. Uh, so what I have here today is a left-handed AR-15 rifle. So we just wanted to spend a minute just showing this and highlighting this for all you left-handed guys that are maybe putting together builds one at a time or looking for a well-priced uh, full AR-15 build that is um, fully left-handed, this could be a good option for you. We just wanted to let you know kind of what all's on here uh, so you can make that educated decision. So what we have here, we'll kind of start with our receiver set and just kind of work out from there. But what we have here is a left-handed upper receiver. This is a billet upper receiver. There's no forward assist on this. We have the flat side here rather than the normal curved side. So it is kind of a slim, like streamlined profile. Um, so a little different than what you usually see on like a mil spec upper receiver. But we do have that billet upper receiver and it is left hand. So you're not gonna have to uh, worry about getting hit in the face with the ejection, living in a right-handed world. Uh, next we have our lower receiver. This is the uh, Davidson Defense mil spec receiver. This is what we put on a lot of our lower build kits, a lot of our rifles. This is what's on the Journeyman and the Journeyman Pro. Um, but obviously what we did different with this one, because this is a left-handed build, is we included some ambidextrous controls. So on this thing, you're gonna have a uh, ambidextrous mag release from Strike Industries, and then an ambidextrous safety selector. Uh, and this safety selector also is a short throw safety selector, so you don't have to switch it that full 90 degrees. You just, you actually get that actuation uh, in the 45 degrees, which I like a lot. It's actually really nice to use, really quick, really convenient. Uh, moving on from there, we have an ambidextrous charging handle instead of that mil spec charging handle. So that gets you that ambidextrous charge and that left-handed bolt release with that charging handle. And next for our BCG, we do have a left-hand specific BCG, of course, um, using this left-handed upper receiver. So everything else about the BCG is standard, just like a mil-spec BCG. The, the, the carrier is the same. Uh, it's a nitride finish BCG. That bolt head is as most standard BCGs are. That bolt head is gonna be compatible with your 5.56, your 2.23, your 300 Blackout, your 350 Legend, same bolt head on those. But it is left-handed, so obviously it's gonna eject out the correct side for your left-handed shooting. So that's pretty much it as far as the like left-handed and ambidextrous controls go. Um, from there on out, everything is fairly standard. Um, we just built this to be a, a standard, easy rifle to use and build out on. So what we have here for our barrel is a 16 and a half inch barrel, government profile, nitride finish, um, and it's a mid-length gas system. So we're right there in that nice mid-length sweet spot for for cycling and for recoil. We have a 15 inch M-Lock handguard, so pretty standard. You got three sides of M-Lock, you're gonna have no problem uh, finding real estate to attach whatever accessories or grips or things that you wanna have on your handguard. Here on the back end, we have the Adaptive Tactical EX Performance stock. Uh, you guys know we like this stock. It's a pretty popular seller for us, uh, so we threw that on there. It has the uh, the pretty thick uh, rubberized pad there on the back for uh, just kind of helping to mitigate some of that felt recoil in the shoulder. Um, we sell a lot of these, a lot of you guys really like the stock. So that's what we threw there on the back end. And also one more little cool feature about this stock, you know, being the stock that we chose just because we know it's a good stock, we know a lot of people like it. Uh, going along with the ambidextrous features on this rifle, uh, there is a QD mount built into the stock and you actually are able to switch that from one side to the other. You can pop this cap out and switch the QD mount to the other side. So you do have 
ambidextrous option on the QD mount for your sling on the stock as well, um, which is just a cool little feature that Adaptive Tactical included on that stock. Uh, and then all of these do come with a pair of just basic polymer flip-up sights. So uh, you can get those installed right out of the box and have this thing uh, ready to take to the range and put some rounds through. And then just last couple features, um, pretty standard stuff, muzzle device. We just have a standard A2 style birdcage. Um, we have that standard A2 style grip for the pistol grip, uh, mil spec trigger, and just standard mil spec buffer, buffer spring there in the back end. We do have a ambidextrous sling loop end plate instead of just that normal standard end plate. So if you are going to be running a sling, uh, you can get a you can get a mount on your handguard, and then you've got both sides of options on that end plate there at the back end as well. So if you are a left-handed shooter and you're trying to get into a rifle for a really good price, this is gonna be a great place to go. We definitely have here a super solid baseline for a left-handed build. If you want to move towards something that's a little bit more purpose-driven or something that's a little bit more um, high performance. If you're looking to build something that is a little more specific um, or that is a little more performance-driven, uh, you want to do a different caliber or you want to put a little bit nicer barrel or you want to switch out your trigger, whatever. All these things are going to be super easy modifications to make um, without having to change any part of your left-handed ambidextrous foundation there that's put together just for our left-handed shooters. So that is it, guys. This is our new left-handed AR-15 rifle. Um, on our site, it is called... OYL, that stands for on your left. That's uh, that's the name of this build. So if you're interested in that, as usual, head on over to our website, deltateamtactical.com, and we will help you find what you need. Um, but that is, again, our left-handed build. And as I said, we've got a few other uh, a few other offerings as far as full firearms go hitting the website. So we'll be covering a few of those as well. Um, side charging option coming up and uh, looking at a few other calibers and full builds as well. If you guys have any comments or you guys have any questions about this left-handed build in particular or any other builds that are coming down the pipeline right now, please feel free to put those in the comments. We'll try to get to all those as quickly as we can. And that is going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We will see you guys on the next one.